argument before the Court of Appeal. The application by the bar was to intervene in the case to ask the court to proceed to give a decision on the constitutionality of the Eighth Amendment to the Constitution, I believe, um, notwithstanding the settlement. The basis for the request was that the proceedings were already near conclusion. It was already, it was only awaiting uh, a decision. All the arguments had been put and extensively put at that. So that we felt that given that the, the issue remains live and will be coming before the CCJ in any event, that it would be beneficial to still get a decision in the public interest and therefore made a request to the court um, for that to be done. The, the request was um, dismissed out of hand. I understand that the reason given had to do with the lateness um, of the proceedings, the stage at which we sought to intervene, that it was too late. Um, it is interesting that the day before, yesterday the Court of Appeal handed down a decision and the bar is challenged to the Sixth Amendment to the Constitution. And that challenge to the Sixth Amendment to the Constitution in part rests upon the very basic structure doctrine that was advanced in the challenge to the Eighth Amendment to the Constitution, which are the nationalization appeals. So that one of the grounds of appeal sought to rely upon sections 2 and 69 as amended by the Eighth Constitution to say that the trial judge, Mr. Justice Legal, was wrong to find the Sixth Amendment to the Constitution unconstitutional as he had done. So that if the bar is to appeal that decision, the very arguments that were put in the Eighth as to the invalidity of the changes to section 2 and 69 will have to be put all over again before the CCG and the process started to start entirely anew. We just felt, many of us at the bar just felt that that was a waste of resources and that it was worth in the circumstances to ask for the court to nonetheless give the decision in the aid.